Ce jour-là, j'ai laissé le bureau, disons vers 4h, 4h30 pour aller chez moi. Et j'étais en pleine nuit lorsque cela s'est passé. C'était vraiment difficile de voir les maisons tomber, de voir des gens, autant de blessés, autant de autant d'enfants morts. C'était tragique. I know it, I was really, really, really panicked and I didn't know what to do, where to go. I was running in the parking lot. I don't know what to do. And I was, and I saw the build, the building like, you know, shaking. And it was really, really, really stressful. And I thought that it was the end of the world. We were looking at the building because we thought that it would collapse and we didn't know if there were still people inside. So we were trying to see if everybody was outside. But people, the people were screaming and there was that lot of dust. And this is when we realized that a lot of houses had collapsed in the area. So it was very scary. And until now, I keep hearing this noise. You know, the, the noise, blow, blow. It's, it's, until now, sometimes I hear this noise. J'ai marché à pied pendant plus de deux heures de temps pour arriver chez moi. Effectivement, arrivé chez moi, la maison était effondrée. Et j'ai vu mon mari en train d'enlever certains, enfin, certains décombres pour récupérer ma fille, ma belle-sœur, mon neveu et un ami. Donc, il y avait mon beau-frère aussi dans la maison qui est mort, malheureusement. Donc, ils étaient cinq dans la maison. Donc, et mon beau-frère est mort. Donc, mon mari a pu récupérer quatre personnes, parmi lesquelles ma fille de 11 ans. Et now we are in the parking. This is our new office. Because our office has been affected. The walls are cracked a little. What I know is that people will not feel safe going there. I don't know if they will decide to knock it down, but um, for us, we should not use it. J'ai une famille de de cinq personnes. J'ai deux fils. Maintenant, nous sommes tous à la belle étoile. On n'a pas de matelas. On est obligé de mettre du mot et, et des cartons. On est obligé de mettre des cartons, des draps pour pouvoir dormir. Normalement, c'est très, très, très difficile. I didn't have a tent for 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 ten for eight days, but now I have a small tent. Even it's hard to, for me because you know I'm I'm tall, so it's really hard for me to sleep. But at least I have it. Côté nous, il y a pas de sécurité et mon apprend très fait des de cas des actes sur mon a fait des de action. Parce que nous pas gagné la prison, nous vraiment prendre sécurité. Parce que si moi impossible, si moi qui nous te gagne en nous, yo prend yo. I can't sleep. You know, it's like sleeping with one eye because you need to make sure that you are awake, so that if you need to run, to take your kid and just run. So you can't sleep. You can't sleep, and um, I think it will be like that for 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 a while. It's not raining now, but the, the time, the time, or to say, the period will come soon. So I'm really worried and concerned about people who have a tent and what will be the situation in the next few days. We are not in mesure to be able to eat at end. We share all we have. Let's say, if we find water, we don't drink to appease our thirst. We just drink just to stay alive, to be able to move. Aquí hay muy pocas vías de acceso, entonces en un radio de 5 kilómetros te tomas 2 y 2 horas y media para llegar. No, vraiment, parce que les, parce que l'école est effondrée, et puis les dit papa, les papas, l'école encore, parce que les papas veulent pour mourir. Je m'apprêtais, je me préparais pour, pour me marier. J'ai presque tout perdu. Ma fiancée n'a plus de maison pour le moment. La grande difficulté, c'est le niveau de, de sécurité et la logistique pour vraiment distribuer l'aide dans les communautés. Les gens ne peuvent pas avoir un plan. Ils ne savent pas avoir un plan. Ils ne savent pas ce qu'ils vont faire après, let's say, un mois, un an, même des années. Parce que tout, je peux dire, est collapsé. Fuimos el primer país en venir al rescate de ellos. Así que hemos sido muy solidarios y, y a diario acá entran furgones de comida de todo tipo. You know, as Haitian people, we are very strong. And when you walk in the streets, you can see that people are not happy, but you can see that 
they want to live for the world. That just, anyway, this is that what they say. They say that as if I'm alive, I'm alive for a reason, so I have to live. That's Everybody felt that their place was here now to see what can be done for the others. In the evening, people start feeling the stress, and I think that being here during the day, it's a good thing for them that makes them forget a little about the stress that they're dealing with. And I really think that uh, with the, the staff that we have now, they, we, they are really willing to support, almost forgetting their own problems to support others. So that I think that Plan will definitely be able to make a difference.